we know all the steps we need to take to determine the generalized eigenvectors of a matrix. We will now do so in an explicit and relatively easy example to see how this works in practice. So we have a matrix A over here. Question, find the independent generalized eigenvectors of A. So what's the plan? Uh, first, find eigenvectors, their multiplicities. Uh, I will already uh, uh, tell you that uh, we will only have lambda equals 2. Oh, that's easy because we have a triangular matrix. Uh, with algebraic multiplicity 3, and we will see that its geometric multiplicity equals 1. Now, for this eigenvector v, because there's not really only one independent eigenvector, we will have to find the cycle ending at this v, and we'll have to check that the length is indeed equal to 3. So, that's the program. Let's do the program. Uh, so, the eigenvalues are easy for this matrix A, because we have a triangular matrix. Can read them off, they are all two occur three times, so algebraic multiplicity equals three. We compute a minus lambda i, so that basically means that you kill off the twos on the diagonal. We have the matrix over here, and we can find uh, the uh, eigenspace by solving a minus lambda i times x equals zero. And it's also nice for this matrix because it is already in echelon form. And we see that the eigenspace is the span of E1. So we have one uh, independent normal eigenvector. So the dimension of E lambda equals 1, so its geometric multiplicity equals 1. So now we know that we will have one cycle because we have one endpoint. Our endpoint will be this E1. We have one endpoint, one cycle. Uh, we have a 3 by 3 matrix, so we need a cycle of length 3. So how are we going to find the other ones? Uh, well, we set the uh, V1, which we called, by the way, the endpoint of the cycle. V1, we set it to E1. And then to step up, we have to solve A minus up to I times X equals V1. That will give us the V2. So for stepping up, we have to solve A minus up to I times unknown vector equals the previous one. So that's what we are going to do. So Form the augmented matrix. Here we have our a minus up to i, augment with uh, v1, which equals e1. We solve. We see c1 is free, no pivots, and we uh, uh, see uh, 0 times c1 plus 1 times c2 plus 0 times v3 equals 1, so c2 equals 1, and the second row yields c3 equals 0. And we can write down our solution x over here. So we see our solution x equals c1 3 times e1, one we already had, plus e2. So our particular solution now is this e2 equals 0, 1, 0. So this is our particular solution. This is the homogeneous solution. So the second generalized eigenvector is the particular solution is e2. Now, let's go on to find the third generalized eigenvector. Same trick. But now we have to solve a minus up to x times a minus up to i times x equals v2. Our v2 is e2. So now instead of augmenting with v1, we augment with v2 over here. We do the same. Uh, uh, so we basically do the same trick. But now our solution is c1 again free, of course. Now we have c2 0, c3 equals 1. Write out the solution, the homogeneous part and the particular part. Homogeneous part the same again uh, in the eigens, uh, eigenspace. And our particular solution is E3. So our V3, we can pick it as our particular solution equals E3. So now we have three independent eigenvectors. We started with E1, which was the, well, we started with E1, but it is the terminal point. Then we found E2, then we found E3. Uh, we now have three independent generalized eigenvectors. What happens if we are, well, doing silly and try to go on? What happens if we would try to find more? Now, let's try to solve a minus up to i times x equals v3. So we now have to augment this v3. And we see we get something which is inconsistent. Hey, so even if you're doing something silly, you were already done. Even if you try to go on, you see that you get an inconsistent system. 
and that is of course a signal that you were already done in the previous step. So no problem if you're doing something silly, you will notice it anyway. So what's our cycle? This was our eigenvector. Uh, uh, and the, the other ones were E2 and E3. So we have a cycle which has indeed length 3. For the computation of the length of the cycle, the zero, we do not uh, uh, include the zero. So we have indeed a cycle of length 3. So this is how you can find uh, the cycle uh, and the generalized eigenvectors of some matrix A 